Okay, it's a new day. Let's see what's going on. Oh, actually. Oh, wait a second. Not yet received word of Grovor's capture. Hmm. Well, I guess no news is good news? We can't go off on our own and spoil the trap. We will have to stand down until we receive word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So everyone get back to work today. Okay, so still no updates, although one thing I was going to say. Uh, Bolton board, that's fine. Um, we haven't checked out the diary entries um, in a little while, so we'll have a quick look and see if there's anything new. Uh, I f think shocking news is the one we haven't read. The Guild at Nice, that was when Bidoof was talking about... Hang on a minute, let me just quickly check it. This is the one that... I definitely read this one, didn't I? Yeah. Didn't he talk about uh, Chatot? Yeah, that's the one. That's right. So I did read this one. He was talking about the Chatot, um, where Chatot sleeps. Okay, so yeah, skip, 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 skip. So, shocking news. Okay, let's see what's here. It's shocking, by golly. I don't rightly understand it. Not totally, but Pokemon can come from the future? Is that even possible? I don't rightly know. But it's what the Great Dusk Noir claimed, so you gotta reckon there's a grain of truth in it. This is all so confusing that it makes my head hurt, but I reckon I'd best focus, yup yup, because now's the time we need to help get out the word about Azelf and his buddies, yup yup. Groboil's scheme can't continue, yup yup, I have to spread that rumour on thick. Fair enough. So, if Bidoof's updated uh, his journal, then some Flora should hopefully have updated her diary. And now I'm starting to wonder whether I've read this one now. Hmm, did I read this one? Hang on, might be easy if I just check out an older episode. Bear me with me a second. Okay, took me a little while, but I've uh, found the episode where I read the previous entries, and I did. For some reason, I didn't recognise it, so yeah. 12 is the new one. Total shocker. Oh my gosh, it's been one shocking thing after another lately. It turns out that Grove Oil is a wanted outlaw on the run from, oh my gosh, the future. And Duskmoir also came from the future to catch that Grove Oil. There have been so many unbelievable events. It's like I'm in a perpetual state of shock. Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, Dusk Noir vowed to catch Grove Oil on his own. I'm sure the great Dusk Noir will honour his pledge, so Grove, yeah, bleh, so Grove Oil will be caught. We have to leave everything up to Dusk Noir. Good luck. Oh, there, well, there we go. Right, so just got to do random jobs once again. Uh, I could check out... Um, Krogunk shop, seeing as I've got some of those items, but I think we'll just, uh, we'll leave it for now, and let's see if there's anything new. Let's have a look. Anything worth taking? Uh, purple gummy, some money. Just randomly go exploring. What's this? Client Snova, Explorer Snova in Foggy Forest. Restrictions with Rock Type Partner? Interesting. I've never seen that, that before. Huh. That is interesting. Do I have to bring. Does that mean I have to bring at least one Rock Type Partner with me? It doesn't have to be all Rock Types? Well, I'm hoping so, because obviously I'm going to be coming along and I'm a Water Type, so. I wonder if that's what that means. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what about the outlaws? Anything exciting? Let's see. Money, money, money. A cherry berry. Reviver seed. But it's a star one for 150. Ooh, restrictions with dragon type partner. 
Hmm. Thunder Wave could be useful. Hmm. You know what? We're taking them on an amp planes. It's gonna be risky for me, but that could Thunder Wave could be handy. Hmm. And while I'm here, let's have a look and see if there's anything else in f um, Amp Planes, but looks like there isn't. That is an interesting one, though. Now, we'll leave those ones. Let's have a quick look at the job list. Oh, I thought I had another... I thought I had... I thought I had a second job in Amp Planes. I guess I was wrong. All right, then. Well, in that case, then. We'll take that one. And we'll take that one, seeing as it's also in Foggy Forest. And the rest will leave. Hey, Corfish, what's going on? Hey, hey, not knowing what's been happening. That's stressful, I say. Well, all we can do is keep doing our usual work. That is true. And how about you guys? Well, give them time. Hopefully that will happen. Right, so let's have a look at this job list again. Uh, with a rock type partner and a totter orb. Okay. So, presumably, as long as I have at least one rock type Pokemon with me, we can do this. So, if I just have you go on standby for a minute, Absol, let's have a look at the rock type Pokemon I have. Let's sort by level first. Got shield on here, who's part rock type, and I'm assuming as long as it's part rock type, that'll be acceptable. We'll have you join, and that's all I'm gonna have with you because, yeah, explore with Snova, so we can only have one extra Pokemon with us, but that's fine. And before I forget, let's take the jobs. Let me just quickly do some inventory management, and then we're going to head to Foggy Forest. Okay, so I did some inventory management, but I forgot I also had some boxes to open. Although, unfortunately, I'm a little underwhelmed by what were in those boxes. Two gummies, which I guess is alright. You know, of course, we can always use them to raise IQ. Two heal seeds, some gravel rock, and a drift gasp. Drift, drift, blip, drift, blip, gasp. That's quite the name. So yeah, a bit disappointing actually, so you know what? <laughs> that was not worth it. In fact, I think those deluxe boxes that we picked up at the end of uh, the last dungeon, they were pretty much the yellow gummy, the red gummy, and one of the heel seeds, so kind of... <sighs> kind of meh, if I'm being honest. But you know, that's the way it goes. Anyway, I might have a quick chat in case anyone uh, at these Pokemon uh, have anything new to say. And actually, no, Dugtrio does have something new. We are frustrated with our insignificant selves. There is nothing we want more than to capture that Grove Oil thief on our own. But that is denied to us. Every day we must toil away at our dull job. We are so... We are very... <laughs> We're extremely frustrated. What are we to do? Answer, O oh mighty C. Ooh, sploosh. Splash. Um, wow. <laughs> Whatever did you just say? Your duty? Uh, yes? Wait, what's going on here? Do your duty. But, no more belly aching. Go do your duty. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be someone playing a prank. Yeah. Hey, Diglett. That's what you wanted me to do, right? Yes, exactly. Your voice carries so well, Loudred. It works perfectly. Thank you so much for this, Loudred. But, wow, pulling a stunt like that on your own, Dad. You sure did the right thing? I'm serious. Yes, I'm certain. It's about time my dad got over this and went back to work. 
He needed a jolt like that. <laughs> well, now you're sure tough as a rock when it comes to your family. But if you're okay with it, I'm glad to have helped. <laughs> oh, that's kind of awesome. I mean, it's nice that Doug Trio has like a dream involving the sea, but at the end of the day, he's pretty much here almost all the time. And it does make me wonder whether he does actually do his job. So, <laughs> quite the cruel little pl uh, prank there by uh, his son, but maybe it's for the best. Oh, I'm glad I came over here now. That was, that was pretty awesome. Uh, no, we haven't figure off. Mmm, anxious times right now. Hey, here's uh, Team uh, Tasty. Is it Team Tasty? Well, good to see that you're still alive and well, Wormpool. Oops, I did not mean to press the A button again. That's fine. Uh, no, don't need... Actually, you know what, just out of curiosity. I'm pretty sure uh, he will, uh, Kecleon. I haven't checked out this store in a little while, so let's just see if there's anything worth picking up. Payback? Hmm... Nah, it's fine. And before we go, let's just ch chat to everyone else here. I want to know how the Great Dust Noir intends to take down Grove Oil. I'd like to s go see that fight, but... I'd better not get in the way. I think we're in the safe hands with the Great Dust Noir. I'm sure he'll catch Grove Oil for us. Oops, I shouldn't have said that so loud. Yeah, best be careful, although... There's not too many places to hide around here, surely. It has to work, Spoink. But I guess we just need to uh, be more patient, I guess. Anyway, let's have a quick uh, look in the cafe in case anything's going on. Ah, a ninjask. Go exploring with Ninjask. So kind of a similar job that I picked up at Drenched Bluff. We'll take it, but we're not going there today. Instead, we are going to... A foggy Forest. So taking a Pokemon with us, taking Snover with us. And deliver a Totter Orb, which I should have picked up. Yes, I did. In fact, I have two Totter Orbs. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally use uh, uh, both of them. Anyway, so seeing as we've been to this dungeon before, I'll just show you highlights as usual. But uh, let's see what happens in um, uh, Foggy Forest. Okay, so we've reached the destination floor, the sixth floor with Snova. And that's all we needed to do. Pretty simple. Although, I'm assuming because Snowbo was with us, each floor we arrived in, there was a hailstorm, but... Luckily, it didn't affect us too much. We seemed to uh, kept healing up to full health before the hail damaged us again, so that was no problem at all. Right, so now we don't have to worry about Snowbo um, tagging along with us. We can now do our second and final job in this dungeon. And we've located the Viper, so here you go, you can have your Totter Orb. And yeah, it was just as I thought, as soon as we, uh, as soon as uh, Snowva left the team, and I moved on to the next floor, the snow went away and it's, well, considering its name, it became foggy again. Which I'm absolutely fine with, and on that note, that should be the last job, so let's get out of here. And Snova actually wants to join. That's absolutely fine. Welcome to Team Dynamo, um, Snova. We'll get 300 money thanks to that. And an apple. Fair enough. So, a bit of a simple one today, but, you know, it's all good. But I wonder when we'll get an update from Dusk Noir and 
his plans with grow well capturing grove oil. Oh, looks like Riolu can't sleep again. Listen, Jono. I wonder how Azelf and his friends are doing. Do you think that they may be fighting Grove Oil now? Oh, I just can't sleep with that on my mind. But if you stop to think, this is all so strange. I mean, Pokemon coming here from the future. Something like that is really possible? That's true. It's hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, this never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dusk Noir and Grove Oil came from? What is it like? Is the future like the present day? Is it a world at peace? Oof, it's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. <laughs> it's a shame I'm a water type Pokemon, as a result, I don't know anything like sleep powder or anything, but, uh, to, to, you know, to help you, Riolu, but try your best to go to sleep. Let's do our best for tomorrow and see if we get any updates about uh, Dusk, Dusk Noir's uh, plan at all. Ah, uh, new morning, same old Loudred. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, it's a new morning, Riolu. But I wonder if there's been any updates. Ahem. About the attempt to capture Grove Oil. Uh, oh, still no word, although. Hang on a second, who's missing from our lineup? Oh god. We've seen this so many times and I can't remember. Um. Oh, is it. Oh, is, is it Diglett that's missing? I understand that you're all itching for something to happen, but consider this a test of your patience. Because we ask you to carry on with your usual work. Oh, so it looks like we're still doing our usual work then. Ooh, what is that siren? Well, that's where Mag- uh, Diglett is apparently Magnemite. This is a message from Officer Magnazone. We are pleased to deliver this report. Grove Oil has finally been captured. Oh! Well, that is big news. I guess all that rumour spreading paid off. Grove Oil was captured by the great Dusk Noir. So obviously Dusk Noir's plan worked. He's informed us that he will return to the future with Grove Oil. Interesting. Well, I'm guessing because his work is done, I guess uh, they're going to be going back to the future. How do you go back? Huh, I do not claim to understand the process. Yeah, I don't think anyone does really well, obviously, apart from Dusk Noir. But I have heard that they will be going through a tunnel. He called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square. Ah, but does not want to uh, say goodbye to everyone before he leaves. So that's good to know. Well, <laughs> I think we'll just head straight to the square. Let's head up into Treasure Town. And here we are, and... Okay, I'm guessing that must be the dimensional hole that they were on about. Hey, good to see um, Mesprit, Yuxi, and Azelfa, alright. Uh, no sign of Dusk Noir yet, but there's Officer Magnazone. Yeah, look at that thing. Yep, that is the dimensional hole. <laughs> Golly, this is it? Isn't that something? So stepping inside this here thing will take you to the future? Uh, <laughs> you're eager, I'll give you that, Bidoof, but probably best not to uh, get too close to it. The instant you touch it, you'll be sent to the future. Oof, yeah. Um, you don't want that, do you, Bidoof?
Yep, good to see that they're all safe. They went flawlessly. Wow, that rumour spreading did work really well. And we regained all the time gears he'd stolen. Well, that's good news. Speaking of Dusk Noir, looks like he's arriving. Everyone, make way. There he is, and there's Grovel, all tied up. Two Sable Eye as well. Everyone, today. I would like to share excellent l news with you. Finally, Grove Oil, Grove Oil has been captured. This was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. As you can see, Grove Oil is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in lasting peace for your world. Ooh. Yeah, they have Grove Oil muzzled. And he was trying to say something there. He can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true. Hey, hey. I'm feeling the blues. There was so much I wanted to learn from you. Yup, yup. Yuxi, Mesprit, Azelf. I entrust you with the rest. Presumably uh, talking about keeping the time gears safe. You have been most kind and helpful. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the peace. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. Oof, give him a right smack in there. I know he's a bad guy, but did you really have to smack him like that? Everyone, though it pains me. I hate sad goodbyes. <laughs> I've got the whole guild crying. Oh, oh yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Riolu and Jono. Uh, why us two? Okay. So, this is really goodbye. Dusk Noir, sir. For everything you've done. Thank you. Sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? Wait. It's too soon for farewells. Whoa, what the heck? You two are coming with me. Wait, what? What's he do? Wait, what? What's Duskmar doing? By gosh. What? What just happened? Okay, with no warning, we're now going into the future with Duskmar and Grove Oil. What the heck? <laughs>